Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing just a little bit of a get ready with me. I have a couple notes of some things that I wanna talk about like in this video, but I want it to be like super chill, get ready with me, nothing like overly planned or anything. Also, do you guys like my earrings? I'm like literally obsessed with how long they are. Like, I don't know, they're just like super, so dangly, I'm obsessed. I feel like I'm like 13, they're like so cute. Okay. I feel like this whole month I've just been talking about how cold it's been. And then of course today it's like extremely warm out. Do you ever feel like so excited for something and then you hear like one little thing that like throws you off and it just like completely ruins your mood? Me right now. Anyway, I just did my nails this week. This is the color. You guys, I'm obsessed. I like outdid myself with like the shape and color. Like I'm literally obsessed with this. Oh my God, I can't. But anyway, I need to get in the mood, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I made like a little note of things to talk about, nothing crazy. It's warming up here. I feel like it's because we still have the heat on. Um, it's literally May 22nd and it's a little overwhelming because it's almost June and we haven't had like one overly hot day, like not even one. So that's nice. And we still have the heat on in our building. Um, we're not able to like manually turn it off. It's just either on for the season or off and ours is on and it's almost June. So yeah, living in Canada sucks, <laughs> but it's all good. Oh yeah, I got a new microphone. So if the audio should be so much better. Also, I got a new bodysuit. I'm obsessed with like the, the rouging and the ruffles, literally so cute. But the earrings are probably my favorite. Like, I can't. Oh, so pretty. I'm also kind of in a mood because literally before I went to film this video, I was like rushing, of course, because I always feel like I have a place to be and I shattered my powder. So I'm just in a mood, you guys, but we're gonna flip it around. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do our makeup. We're gonna chit chat. I'm so excited. And these earrings are making my night. So it's gonna be great. I don't even know where to start. Um, Oh yeah, so <laughs> I feel like in my last video, we were talking about our wasp problem or how we had a wasp problem last year. And one of my girlfriends who lives next door, she actually had a wasp problem too. So like our balconies, I feel like had like, I don't even know, hives that were connected. It was a whole situation, so. Oh, and another lovely thing. You know there's actual horrible weather when I'm still blending my foundation down my neck to match my face, literally in the end of May. So I'm totally in a mood, but it's all good. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna be positive. It's gonna be amazing. But um, anyway, back to our wasp problem. So I originally in the video said that we were gonna cement. We were gonna like cement the issue, I guess. We ended up not going with cement because my boyfriend, obviously being a man, knew what to do. And I just, I don't know. I thought that like, if you just cemented over the holes with like a putty scraper, that it would like seal it off and like whatever. But he was like, you know that you can literally buy like a foam that goes inside bricks and like expands and hardens, right? And I was like, oh, and I didn't know that. So we ended up doing that and we did literally our whole balcony. Um, which I'm really happy about because it turned out better than I expected. I thought like with the cement, it would just do a few things, I guess, but with, it ended up turning out to be doing the entire balcony and I just feel so much better. Like it's completely sealed. Um, there's no like cracks where like bugs can get in and I'm just like at peace with it. Um, we have carpet on our balcony, not for like anything fancy. It's literally just for comfort. I like having carpet on my toes instead of like cold cement. So we carpeted the balcony with like my parents' uh, old carpet that they did in their house. They had like extra, so we just put it down. Yeah, no, I'm just like overall so happy. And like, we haven't had any, like literally any bugs out there. I saw like maybe one spider, which is nice. But at the same time, like the weather's been so hit or miss this year with like, just like straight up cold weather. Like it was literally seven degrees yesterday that there's not really a temperature for bees to, or wasps, I like bees, for wasps to even make a nest. So what else did I put on my list? Uh, I literally put weather in all caps just because, um, I don't know, me and my boyfriend have been talking about how we've never seen a May. I'm gonna do, I'm doing my eye makeup today. I don't usually do eye makeup. I'm using Vanilla Quartz by Becca. This is a super pretty, I think it's a highlight, but I'm gonna use it as like an eyeshadow. Super pretty. But yeah, we were talking and I'm like, I've never seen it 
this cold in May before. Like it's been years, honestly, before it's been this cold, but it's all good. We're going on vacation this summer. So if we weren't leaving on vacation, I would probably literally go crazy and pop off, but I like this as a base, it's really pretty. But yeah, enough about the batter. I don't, enough about the weather. I literally don't care anymore. It's, it is what it is. It is what it is, people. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna wear this one. Also, I'm using these NARS. Oh my God, there's makeup everywhere. There's no name, but the pan comes out. These are really, really cute. I love these. Um, It's called Rio de, oh my gosh. <laughs> Rio de la Plata, and this is NARS. I'm gonna use this shade, it's extremely glittery. I think it's like a pressed pigment. I have the one in Earthshine too, but this one is way too pink. Um, I'm wearing like a, whatchamacallit, like a khaki brown. It's kind of like pink undertones, but I might follow it up with this one. This one is like a nice deep brown and the shade uh, Pieta. But I'm gonna do this one first in my inner corner. Why did I do it on this hand? Super glittery. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. My lighting is kind of crazy. I'll have to edit it to figure it out. And then, okay, for the outer corner, I'm gonna do the Pieta. This is so pretty, these pressed pigment. I'm gonna wear like some bronzer today. So I guess that's like kind of why I'm in the mood to wear some glitter on my eyes. And this is just so pretty. If you like glitter, you need these. Like I love NARS so much. When I went to New York in high school, I always wanted to go to like the NARS labs. Cause they're like, there's like old, you know, New York, city buildings and they just had like the high ceilings. It was like so lofty and studio vibes, which I love. And like just playing around with makeup, like that'd be so much fun. Cute. But yeah, I got a new microphone. I'm so excited about it. Honestly, it was kind of spur of the moment because I, I don't know, it was in the back of my mind where I was like, oh, I should get a new microphone, you know? My audio wasn't terrible, like I had a decent mic, but you know, when you elevate your camera and like other things, it's like weird if your audio isn't good. So yeah, I got a new mic and I actually am really like obsessed with it. The quality is amazing. It's like the mic that was like designed for my camera, if you will. So really excited about that. It's just nice to be able to like have nice audio and not have to worry like, does my audio suck? Is it super noisy? You know what I mean? So I want you guys to be able to just like listen and sit back and not have like weird cracking or popping and stuff like that. So that's that on that. I guess I should mention I'm doing Hula bronzer just as like a crease color just to blend out the glitters, which is really pretty. Yeah, no, my energy's off. Maybe I'm just like really hungry or something. Okay. A little bit of bronzer. I love Hula. It's like the only bronzer I use and I'm just gonna put it all over my body. I don't know if I said this, I feel like I'm like losing my mind. But, um, so I recently downloaded like literally all of the Scooby-Doo's from like 1969 until like, I don't know, like 1998 or something. But we were watching them last night and you guys, when I tell you I was having like so much nostalgia, like it was so weird to see like Scooby-Doo again. And it was just like the best thing ever. So um, for blush, I'm gonna be mixing two essence blushes. One is in Beloved and it's a little bit more pinky and brighter. And then this is the dark one from my last video in Believing. So I'm gonna mix them, but um, yeah, no, Scooby-Doo is the vibe. I honestly, like, this is gonna sound like so weird, but like, I don't know why I didn't watch it when I was like fucked up. Like, I feel like it'd be so good to watch if you're like tripping or like, you know, and like you, you like are with people and like it gets like super chill and you're like, we should just put something on and vibe. I feel like Scooby-Doo is that. Like, I feel like as an adult, it's just like, put Scooby-Doo on and vibe. <laughs> But yeah, no, I we watched like five last night. It was so good. I love, I love, love, love Scooby-Doo. My nails are shorter than they were in one of my last videos. And I still, I'm like breaking more than I did last time. Like pushing my nails and my powders and breaking things like. Oh, fuck me. All right. I also wanted to touch on this and I don't want this to sound Negative, I actually don't even care how it sounds. So if you perceive it as negative, I don't know, go to therapy or something, but. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! Don't you get it? Why can't anybody have an opinion and I but yell. you? And I yell. Do you not how get do it? You know what's That's good my for opinion. Me. I literally cannot stand girls that are like pick me's that are like, like, I don't know, just like have to always agree with everyone and they're like body positive and you know, just, 
put on this front of like, I don't even know that energy, but deep down when you watch them, you can tell that they're just like a complete bitch in real life or they're just like the meanest person or just like horrible energy. And I feel like for me, like obviously, you know, not everyone's gonna like me, but I don't know. I don't really care about like the petty shit. You know what I mean? And I don't know, when I watch people that, um, I can just tell, you know, I can just tell with the energy. Um, this perfume I'm gonna put on my, so good. <laughs> oh. um, it's called Vose Vita by Valentino. And I'm gonna put this on my neck. Oh my God, this smells so good. It smells like rich, sexy. It smells like rich, sexy. Ooh. Oh, it smells like, I don't even know, just like hot, like just sexy. I love it. Valentino, like, I don't know. I feel like that would be like, if someone was like, oh, what is Valentino? Like that to me would be like Valentino. Oh, it just smells like money. Like, you know, when you're a kid and you'd go into like the Bay or like Sears or like any of those like department stores, I guess, with your parents and there would be like perfume counters. It's like rich old smelling. Oh, love it. it. Smells so good. But yeah, no, I literally talked in one of my videos where I was like, oh, you know, I used to be such a pick me. Like I would say yes to everything and I wanted everyone to like me and I always wanted to like have, you know, the most friends and whatever and all that bullshit. And I feel like nowadays, maybe it's because I went through it myself and I experienced it. But when I see people on social media, like just giving off that energy where it's like, I don't know, I can, I feel like I can just smell it and I don't like it because it doesn't feel, it just feels fake. It's like, oh, body positivity. Everybody is beautiful. Love yourself. And then behind the scenes, you know that they're just like murdering people and I don't know. I don't know. I wanna put on this perfume, but the Valentino just smells so good. <laughs> I literally wrote my notes. Bronzer because it's cold here at seven degrees yesterday and I'm a pale ass bitch heading into June. Facts, absolutely. Feeling very glittery, very blushy. I'm gonna put on some lipstick. Mm -hmm. This one for sure. Oh my God, I hate when you switch the lids. It's the worst. I'm gonna wear Max Kinda Sexy. Just cause it goes with the glitter and my shirt. Okay, and then for lip gloss. Um, 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 um. I kinda want something dark. This is, is there a shade on it? Essence Shadow Rose. And this is like one of the lip glosses I was talking about. I did not use this one in my last video. <gasps> Ooh, I like this. I think I went a little crazy with the lipstick, you guys. This shade is like, I literally went crazy with the lipstick. The doe foot applicator just is, it feels so good. But I, when I put it on, I just put too much on. <sighs> okay, what's next? Highlighter. Ooh, 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 I feel very like tan right now, I'm loving it. Becca Prosecco Pop, is that how you say it? Yeah, Prosecco Pop. And this is a really, I don't know if the camera can pick it up because my lighting is crazy. But it's a really pretty, um, I feel like champagne is the best way to put it. Or Prosecco, if you will. Ooh, that with the eyes, you guys. On camera, it looks so pretty. <gasps> I love this color so much. I'm gonna put some on my cheekbones, a little bit on my boobs. But yeah, this is totally random, but the other day I went for like a bike ride. It was literally pouring rain, cold. But I feel like I was just in a mood because I'm just, like I, I'm very like intuitive. You know, I'm a very big believer that you are, what's the saying? You're like a product of your environment. And um, it's just been so shit here with the weather. You guys see that? My light just like completely flicked out. Um, it's just been so shit here with the weather. And I feel like my mind was just like, it just snapped and it was like, get the fuck out of the house. So I literally like, put on shorts, put on a t-shirt and just dipped. I just left my house, started biking. On the way there, I was like, I regret this, I regret this, I regret this. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. And then literally halfway there, I was like, it's so cold that I'm warm. And it was like so good. And I was like in the middle of a bush. Um, I think I have a picture, I'll insert it if I don't look too crazy, but I was literally like, like in the middle of a bush, like there were so many trees and water and I was just like living my best life. So it was nice. I don't know, it was nice to get out and just like work out and push my body. But I don't know, it just goes to show that like if you push yourself to do the things you don't wanna do, and I feel like especially as you get older, you're always tired or you just don't feel like doing something or it's just easier not to. And I feel like, oh, this is what I was gonna use. I was gonna use that lip pencil and I didn't. 
I'm gonna wait till I get a little bit more tan. <laughs> or if I tan at all this summer, let's get real. But yeah, when you're an adult, like you just like, you're tired after work or like there's just certain things like it's easier. You guys are probably watching like, <laughs> you know, it's easier not to, or you could do it another day. And I think like, the more as an adult, especially, that you that you like just force yourself to do things or push yourself to do things or just, you know, make yourself do it. After you do it, you're like, I literally love that. Or like a couple days later, you're like, I'm so happy I did that. Or like, you know what I mean? Like you just feel better and you're more proud of yourself. And it's just like, you never regret doing things for yourself. You know what I mean? And I feel like I regret things more when I'm not doing things for myself, when I'm like putting things off or making excuses and stuff like that. So my makeup today is like, I'm loving it. Can anybody talk when they do their mascara? I feel like I can never. In the zone, man. My lashes are so long that it feels like a massage. I'm just like, I could like take a nap. And just rub this on my eyes. Moving on. Oh yeah, this is like the same mascara I've been using lately, you guys. CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I've used it in like three videos. Get on it. And then this one is the Lash Princess. Like for $5. Give me all of it. Also, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to get through a tutorial without getting makeup on my literal eyes that I put glitter on, so that is so nice, like honestly. Come to me for professional looks, you guys. Busting it down with the professionalism over here, you guys. I'm totally kidding, I'm just living my life. This combo, you guys, if you're looking for something that's like under $15, under $12 even. Clump Crusher plus, Clump Crusher plus Lash, I can't even talk. Clump Crusher for the third time and Lash Princess are dream in heaven. Look at this. Look at that. Like literally even just looking in the viewfinder. Are you kidding? I'm gonna do a baby bit more because I'm definitely not a less is more chick. That's for sure. And I like a good cake once in a while, you know? The girls that get it, get it. Ooh, okay. I'm actually so, I'm kind of really into my look, you guys. But yeah, you guys, this is the final look. Thank you for hanging out with me this afternoon on this crazy roller coaster. Also, I literally am wearing these out tonight, which is why I brought them to show you guys. Is that a thumbnail? Love these, they're new as well. They're a little bit bigger than the other ones I had. The other ones were like thin bitches, but this one is definitely thicker. Oh yeah, I forgot. Setting spray. Woo! I'm feeling like a beach Barbie right now. I'm obsessed. I wanna get more colors like this. I feel like when I wear a color like this, I'm just like feeling myself. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful rest of your evening, afternoon, whenever you watch this. Remember to stay positive. I love you. If you ever need support, reach out to me in the comments. I'm always here to chat with you guys and I reply to everyone unless you're like weird. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.